Hi guys, it's Matthew here. Welcome back to another video on my channel today. Today we um we are reviewing um we are reviewing we are reviewing a um another Lego Harry Potter set, one that I got for Christmas, the Lego Harry Potter Night Bus. And I have two other Lego Harry Potter sets for Christmas, two other ones that I really wanted. The Hag Hagrid's Hut and the um Harry Potter clock tower and whatnot, and um and um and I wanted those two, and this was one of the ones I really want. Hagrid's hut I already put together, but then the Lego Harry Potter clock tower I have not um I have not started on yet, but I will start it on it eventually. And make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. And um. And there's um and then there's a uh, some um a comic guy that does le Lego things on the Lego Harry Potter Wampy Willow. Um his it's brick something, I believe. So if so so if you if you comment down below say that you loved the Lego Harry Potter Wampy Willow set and if your and if your YouTube uh name has um has um has um has the word brick in it, and and has something to do with Legos. Shout out to you, but I will figure out your name eventually. But but I'm not chit chatting, guys. Let's get started. So why don't we start with the minifigures first? So here's Lego Harry Potter, and you can see he's got his glasses, his wand. And he's got print on the back, and then he's got his glasses, whatnot. He's got his smirking face. And if you look on the back, he's got an alternate face. So there's three and a quarter minifigures in these sets, of course. So and then, so and then here we have the um his brown pants. So you can actually move them. His little legs, that's actually the newer style of little legs for Lego, because I've never seen that before. And he's got his wand and whatnot. And then, um, now we're gonna... And so, I only showed Harry by himself, but now we're gonna see two other minifigures that we've never seen before. So here's the conductor of, um, of... Of the night bus. I can't remember his name. But he's got his suit and tie. And he's got his purple jacket. And then he's got a... There's no alternate face. Because he always has to have the back of the head. But um... But if um... Yep and then um... And then you can see he's got... He's got his tan hands. He's got print on the back. So... The only thing that I'm not a big fan of on this figure. Is the little... Ticket... Thaney Mabobber that he has printed on his, um, his, um, his shirt. I wish, um, I would, I wish they wouldn't have have print that on. Printed that on. I would ra- I wouldn't, I would rather have, have him, have, have that hold, held in his hand. So, and then here's, um, here is, um, the, um, the driver of the night bus. He's got a black tie just like the driver does. Front on the back. And he's got his legs and whatnot. He's got his green shirt. There's no alternate face, but he does have hair. But there's no hair on the top. He's completely bald on the top. Okay. Okay. Okay, now, um... Now, um, now here we have the Lego Harry Potter Night Bus. So, um, so, um, so in order to get figures into this thing, you can, um, and there's easier access by, um, by opening this wall. Because, um, because there's a hunt, because there's hinges that help pull it off. But then, um, but then this, um, but then this, um, but then this third, but then this third story right here, right above here, you can, you 
can remove it. Just take just take that right off. It's only attached to um to um to uh it's only attached to to a few studs, so it's um so it's so it's removable and it's very easy to remove. Okay, so basically here we have a bed right right here. Then here's a little red seat. And here's also some access right here. Where um where the conduct and if you turn it around, you can actually hold on. You can actually you you can actually make the night the the night bus driver um um put on to the hang on to the pole and whatnot. And then um and then here's the fancy chandelier that can be squiggled back and forth. And then this bed, I think it's a very nice little detailing. So if you lift this thing up, you could put a figure inside there. So um so um so so um so basically when this opens up, this is this is supposed to represent this is supposed to be this is supposed to represent the cover, but it doesn't go off like a cover in real life. So you can so you can actually so um so it so it just meant to open. So you can actually put a figure like um like the figure is laying down. And you can actually put the covers down, and then um and then put um and then put um the um the bed in there. And then right behind the ch chandelier right here, you can see it says the Daily Prophet and whatnot. And then you can see right here, there's a joystick and a steering wheel. And then there's a little... Let me take the bed out for a second, just to get just to get my hands on there easily. So then there's this little red seat. You can see it's attached to a hinge piece in the seat where the steering wheel is, and then... And then, so, it's, uh... So you can... So that's where the figure goes. So the reason why it hinges off to the side is because... It's because so it so it can make it a little easier for you for you to put um to put the um to put um to put the driver to put the driver right in there and then um and then it um and then it will hinge back with um with him sitting sitting in there but um will hinge back. Sorry, it would, something was jamming and I for there for a second. I don't know what. So um so and then um so and then so and then the bed will go right here. So basically the um these flat pieces. So this is supposed to make the bed slide back and forth. Mm hmm and Then you can see right here that I don't know what that space is used for, but you can actually Put a minifigure right there. I don't know if you could put one of the regular size minifigures, but I know you could put a person with shorter legs like Harry. I know you could put him over there. But then um but but then you can also but you can also put a figure in that seat right there. Which I think is kinda cool. And then um and then the three and the quarter minifigure, the th the quarter minifigures right here. So do you know the little guy that says, take her away, Ern? And then when he says it's going to be a bumpy ride, that's him right in there. I don't know how else to show it very well, but, um, but if you guys can kind of see it. But, um, but, um, but let me show you something. Something, um, something really, something really cool. So the reason for the bed, let me get let me get the minifigures out of there to demonstrate that. So basically, hold on, I'll show you what the what it what will happen. So let me put the third story back on there, and then I'll show you how. So if you act if you actually look when you're when you're actually just driving it like rolling it reeling it back and forth, you can see the chandelier. Just, um, just, um, just, um, just, um, just moving. But the bed doesn't move. So the reason why the bed is designed is so it can move back and forth. But when you 
pick it up and rock it like this. Um, the bed, um, the bed does move. The bed does move, though. So, um, so it, um, so it, um, so it, uh, so, so, um, so it can, um, so it can, so it, so it just swivels back and forth. And I do like the brick detailing around, um, around the, um, around the night bus. It's very smooth. And I do like the, the area built around the engine. And then that single sticker right there, that's, um, that's a sink, that engine is just a single sticker and it says night bus. And then over here on the entranceway where the conductor greets the person, it says all destinations. What does that mean? It means um it since in the movie he the conductor says that um that the night bus is for emergency transports um and if you need to stay on there for for um for um for a night um for for a night and uh if you need to stay on there for a night it will take you to the destination where you need to go need an emergency transport okay now um now here's this third story so we're gonna look at this separately but i'll show you i'll i'll show you how smooth it is once i get done reviewing re reviewing once i get done with this part so um <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that but i will show you this I will show you how smooth it is all together when I put this back on and before the last part of the video. Okay, so you could see you could see right in there here's um here's a chest that you can open up. There's nothing in there. That's just a big surprise. And then here um here's like here is a little leather letter. I was, I think this is supposed to represent a nightlight or a lantern. There's also a um chocolate bar in there. And this and this Harry Potter, the boy who lived, let me show it out, let me take it out of there, just to show you guys. But, so basically, this is like the fourth copy of this that we, um, that we, this, no, the third copy of this that we got in, in the Lego Harry Potter stuff that I reviewed so far. So, um, so in the Lego Harry Potter Whomping Lolo set, if you got... If you guys recognize this table, there, um, we got this in the Lego Harry Potter Whomping Willow, and it, and if you guys have seen the, the Lego Harry Potter train Lego set, um, we also got this boy who lived, uh, racked at the train station set, so that's kind of cool, so that's the third copy we've gotten in, in, in the Lego Harry Potter themed Sets. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just going to set that back in there. Not take it out again. But, um, but guys, so the roof is removable. So basically, the, the two flat, the two gray tiles right here. Um, you can, um, it just, um, it just sits on those, so you can see how that's, in, um, constructed. And I, um, and, um, and then this, um, this mocks rocks back and forth, because it's, as you can see, because it's just, um, because it's just attached to a clip. Mm -hmm. But it's not, but when you have this... But when you have this on the night bus, it's not designed to rock, um, to, to, um, to move back and forth because, um, because these, um, because these purple studs, because I'm at these purple two by two slant, slanty things, um, or cheese slope pieces, whatever you want to call it. I believe they're cheese slopes, I don't know for sure. So this set is very smooth, like all the textureness around um around it, and then I really like uh, the wheel the wheel part. I do like the purple studs that they use for the hubcaps of the wheel. 
So um so and then when you open the door, I like how since the one the the wheel is, I like so you, so when you open up the door, you don't um you don't you don't um you don't see you don't see it you don't see um you don't see it on um on this one right here. But you um but you do um but you do um but um but you see it on the other side because um because that piece is attached to the door that you opened but the wheel isn't. So that's why it's not around the wheel when you open the door. That's kinda I find that kinda interesting. Okay guys, that pretty much does it for this video. And let me tell you something, guys, about this set. This set is forty dollars, and um, and you um, and and um, into into me when I watch this when I watch the video with this YouTuber, I don't want to say the name of the YouTuber because I don't, because in case a YouTuber will get upset, in case the YouTuber will get upset. But he said, he said you don't um you, when he said the set was forty dollars, he you said. It doesn't feel like you have forty dollars worth of pieces in this thing, and I agreed with him because when I, when I saw this at a store and I picked up and looked at it, it felt like you had more, you had um you had um you had like thirty dollars worth of pieces. I agree. It um, it does not feel like you have forty dollars worth of pieces in here. So that pretty much does it for this video, guys. If you guys want to see more. If you guys want to see more videos, comment down below, and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. And if you're new here, or if you're or if you're very old here and you have not subscribed yet, go do that right now. If um if you desire to, and if um and if you guys like this, if you guys like this Lego Harry Potter set, leave a comment down below, and um. And um and that person and that you and that person I was telling you about at the beginning of the video that comment down below on the Wompy Willow set, he said he loved that set. So that so once I find out that person's name, I will tell you the the person's name and he and that person will get a shout out, or if he can comment down below and tell me what um what um what his actual name is I will I will can see that so guys I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go spend some time with my family since it's um since it's Christmas day and I got this one for Christmas so make sure to comment down below and subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload and I'll see you guys next time bye